Good morning to you all. Today I am Anshaksena is here to give my project presentation on monitoring mangrove forest cover change using remote sensing and GIS data with machine learning techniques. My other teammate is Ayush Shroff and we are doing this under the supervision of Ashwarya Gupta ma'am. Introduction. So firstly, I want to ask what is mangrove? Mangrove are the small evergreen trees that flourish in the zones of river delta they provide variety of ecological services for human being such as protection of coast pollutant absorption water purification and many more as we move to the next slide that is sundarban sundarban locations and its areas the sundarban are in the world largest mangrove forest cover which houses a great number of flora and fauna species including a few endangered ones it approximately covers 10000 km squares that is 6000 km square in bangladesh and 4000 km square in india moving to the next slide that is literature survey it has been observed and analyzed that by using decision tree method we conclude that the mangrove have been decreased rapidly due to the human activities but we get to know that the random forest technique show more accurate result as compared to the rule based technique for the classification of the mangroves so moving to the next slide that is importance of mangrove why are mangrove important for us as it provide income generation for the people also provide food for the animals mangrove forms part of an ecological system as we move to the next slide that is mangrove degradation mangrove degradation as we all know that one third of our mangroves are lost in last 50 years so there are many causes which are massive reclamation project destruction by tidal waves and one of the major cause is rapid urbanization and over harvesting result of degradation are soil erosion and the drastic damage to the ecosystem moving to the next slide that is technical discussion technical discussion gis data geographic information system geographic information system is a computer based tool that analyzes stores manipulate geographic information usually in a map moving to the next slide that is gis process how does the gis processes captures the data and then it registers on the map basis it interprets the data converts the data to the digital formats and stores in, in the system then next is it process the data and display the results as we move to the next slide that is remote sensing remote sensing is not in direct contact with the target but believing or observing or acquiring the information about it the output of the remote sensing system is usually an image representing the scene being observed as we move to the next slide that is remote sensing process remote sensing process as it can be seen in the image that nothing is in direct contact with the object as everything are normally in a form of a digital image as moving to the next slide that is machine learning process machine learning machine learning is a method of data analysis it is a branch of artificial intelligence Firstly we will train the data then we will apply the algorithm of machine learning on the model and then make the prediction accordingly Machine learning techniques there are different types of machine learning techniques linear regression artificial neural network support vector machine decision tree random forest rule based classification and many more Project workflow Firstly mapping of the data is being done and then image classification is being applied on trained data and we will 
acquire the result and then detect the changes and analyze the data results tools used are tensorflow secret learn python language rsglis library now moving to the next slide that is methodology methodology firstly we will see that data acquisition then we move to the data pre processing and it comprises of two that is image mosaicing and image stacking after it is being done then we will move towards the data preparation data preparation also comprises of two that is ndvi and ndwi after the completion of these two we will move towards the image classification techniques image classification techniques comprises of rule based classification and random forest classification now moving to the next slide that is the working firstly we'll talk about data acquisition in data data acquisition the data was acquired from the geo portal website of the government of india as it can be seen in the image the data sets were chosen from the month of february because it had the least cloud cover now moving to the next slide that is data pre processing data pre processing comprises of image mosaicing when we are acquiring the data the data is being acquired in the form of small tiles these the small tiles are joined together and we acquire the mosaic image here is the code we used numpy firstly we will import numpy and we also use open cv in image mosaicing the mosaic image is shown below data preparation ndvi and ndwi ndvi generally stand for normalized difference vegetation index ndvi always ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 now moving to the next slide that is ndwi ndwi generally stands for normalized difference water index and the swir reflectance reflect changes in the vegetation water content as shown in the image now we move to the next slide that is training data acquisition the training data set is provided as shape files the data set are then trained over the acquired range these shape files are then subset to the image being classified as shown in the image these are generated images moving to the next slide that is image classification in image classification we will comprise of two techniques that are rule based classification and random forest classification rule based classification comprises of if then rule for the classification if condition and then leads to the conclusion so here is the sample of the code and then we move to the next slide that is the result of this classifier and generated image move to the next slide that is random forest classification random forest classification defines the layer to be used for the classification for which the training data needs to be extracted we use secret lane classifier train the data and then detect and analyze the result moving to the next slide it shows the result of the random forest classification and the image is being extracted and generated as we move to the next slide that is result analysis and change detection techniques have been applied the change shown in both the rule based and random forest classification were far better than the earlier used algorithms and techniques table generated after applying both techniques and changes were observed we have detected the change in the mangrove cover over the sundarbans region on the date data of year 12 and 
as we use two different methods to find the more accurate result by comparing the result of both the techniques. The change for three different parameters namely mangrove, non-mangrove, water. Now applying the two different techniques on the perimeter we get the following results. In the rule based techniques the percentage changes are for mangrove there is an increase in the 14% approximately and for the non mangrove there is a decrease in the area of 20% for water there is a decrease in the overall 0.7% as we move to the next that is the random forest technique the changes are for non mangrove there is a decrease in the area of 17% for mangrove there is an increase of 14 and 11% for water there is a decrease in the area of 0.4% as we move to the next slide that is conclusion we have applied machine learning technique to analyze image and divide the image into three classes those three classes are mangrove non mangrove and water so overall there was around 10% increase in the mangrove cover between 2012 and 2013 now moving to the next slide that is references thank you